Hey there guys and gals, Melodic Symphony here, and we're going to continue a little bit more Roommates. Sorry, I was going to get something set up there, and there we go. Okay. It's really starting to get nice outside. The weather's been nice and warm lately. It's pretty much the perfect finals week. And with spring break only a week away, I'm having a hard time concentrating on my schoolwork. Uh, I just clap my hands on my cheek to try and keep my head together. I mean, I still have my finals to take. I can't afford to be distracted now. I've got a book in my lap, but my attention keeps wandering, and I just keep staring around at the quad around me. And that's how I noticed Professor Task walking by me, which, which got me thinking about his extra credit assignment. I just wonder what exactly he set up. I mean, I know I've heard Max grumbling about it from time to time, but I don't really know what was up. The professor's almost through the quad, and I can still catch him if I want, uh, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Blech. I just watched Professor Task disappear into one of the buildings, and whatever the extra credit project was, it's well far too late to get into it now. I think my grades are fine, but I'll just have to study that much harder to make sure. Uh, I go back to what I was doing before and try to just put it out of my mind. Boop. Wait, you want me to do what? Please, Anne. Sally was all worked up about this thing today, and honestly, I'm worried the scene might get ugly. I'm already stuck here fielding calls from the housing authorities about student involvement. And apparently Sally went down to the science building earlier to join a bunch of other students in protesting. And uh, what exactly are they protesting? I don't know. I'm paid to keep you people from burning the house down, not to watch your every movement. Uh, sorry, Anne, it's... Been a rough week. Can you please just go check up on her for me? Well, I'm supposed to have a meeting with my advisor this afternoon. Uh, sorry, Dominic, but my advisor's booked for four weeks solid, and I have to take this appointment. Fine, fine, I understand. Uh, maybe I'll see if Rakesh will go. He's probably bumming around her somewhere. If it's still going on when you get back, try to take a look, okay? I'll try. And a few hours later, the area in the front of the science building has been cleared out. Whatever it was, it looks like they cleared out in a hurry, too. Um, I can see science lying on the ground, just trampled over. I hope nobody got hurt. When I get back home, Sally's watching TV, pouting and refusing to talk about what happened. Oh, boy. Yeah, boy. I wonder, would it be possible to do a playthrough on the hardest difficulty if you... Uh, sorry, a playthrough on the hardest difficulty if you did every single event you came across. Is there a way to actually, like, set up your schedule so that you can attend every single event you have the option of going to, except for that first event where you have to pick uh, either the Friday or the Saturday, I think it is, or Saturday or Sunday. It's one of those. I don't know. That's an interesting question. <clears throat> I've got finals all week, and yet I still feel like I have a ton more studying to do. Everyone in the Latin house is hard at work, trying to get their last study sessions in. And heck, Isabella's been locked in her room since dawn. Sally's been, well, barely been outside to walk her dog. And even Rakesh is... Well, as I look into Rakesh's room, I'm actually not sure what Rakesh is doing. He appears to be doing a kind of headstand on his books. Um, Rakesh, I think you get less money from the student bookstore if you ruin the book. Well, unfortunately, I think I startled Rakesh as he just crashes to the ground. Well, I briefly consider running before he recognizes me. Hey, are you okay, Rakesh? I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, I am fine. Thank you, Anne. I was... I was trying to study. Were you trying to learn biosmosis, Rakesh? <laughs> Certainly not. I am... I'm not a buffoon. You, um... You know osmosis doesn't actually work like that, right? But what about if, um... Rakesh, unless you became an amoeba since the last time we spoke, I don't think osmosis is going to help you out much at all. Do you really think it would work? Not really, no. Well, then, I guess we have to figure out a different way for you to learn the material. Uh, well, I suppose I really must rely on other methods to learn. Well, what did you have in mind, Anne? Well, what's the subject? It is... Well, it is for biology. I, well, I need to pass a class so that my grades reflect that I am doing well in my popular curriculum. It's important to my parents that I try my best to become a rich 
American-trained doctor. Oh, well, if it's important to you, let's do it. We'll study so hard to be spouting biology lessons in your sleep. We can do it, Rakesh. Yes, we can best this test together. Rakesh and I just gather up all of his notes that he's taken during class this quarter. Unfortunately, given his terrible attendance record, his notes aren't really much. Uh, of course, it doesn't help that half his book is covered in doodles and drawings and just splotches of color. Heck, we spent a few hours just comparing the notes to his textbook and mostly just studying things that his class has been going over the past quarter. After a while, Rakesh's attention begins to drift, and he just can't concentrate on the subject for that long. I get his attention back a few times, but heck, he's beginning to lose it. I know he's trying really hard to keep his parents happy. I just... I just want to help him out. It's clear Rakesh is losing interest, though, and I need to do something to clear his head so he'll study more. Ooh, I actually can't remember. Um, I'm going to go double check because I think both these are fine. I think just one of them gives you plus five, one of them gives you plus ten. I'm not sure. Oh, it is an art activity. See, I was going to assume that one because, you know, art. But then it's like, well, if we take a break to get our minds cleared, that's also kind of a relaxing thing. I don't know. That aside, bleh. Hey, um, okay, Rakesh, grab a set of your markers. I need to go make a copy really quick. Mm, yes, markers. That sounds perfect. And while Rakesh just busies himself with a distracting drawing, meanwhile, I grab his book and wander over to Dominic's room. He agrees to let me use his computer scanner and printer for a few moments. A few minutes later, Rakesh is happily sketching a landscape picture. His markers are on the side for now as he plans out his move. I quickly swoop in and pick them up. Here you go, Rakesh. Try this instead. I hand him my work, and I basically created a map of the body with numbers corresponding to certain places and concepts. It's almost like a paint-by-numbers kit. Rakesh just eyes the sheet curiously and then looks over to where the markers are by me. Well, it's simple, Rakesh. You can only color it in the appropriate colors, and you'll only know which color is right if you can figure out the concept going on in that area. I know you won't leave that poor creature devoid of life and color, will you? There's no way you could leave that poor soul lifeless and barren, could you? I just see the firelight in Rakesh's eyes and I just smile to myself. Yes, I must bring fire to this page where there is only void. But quickly, he's a very demanding specimen. How should I proceed? And for the next several hours, we associate certain biological concepts with colors to get, well, they get to be used on the diagram drawing I've done. And it works better than I thought. Honestly, my original numbers are quickly discarded as Rakesh begins to weave the colors together where concepts are overlapping. Cellular mitosis fell under a light blue category. The osmosis we'd been talking about earlier ended up a dark green. And eventually, every color of marker was just intertwined. And finally, Rakesh holds up his masterpiece, a complex twist and turn of colors going in every direction. It almost looks like a tie-dye, unless you all well, know something's there. Then you can see the pattern somewhat emerge. Well, I don't know, Rakesh. You've got some purple there around his arm. That can't be right. What? That is the area that would be con... That oh, wow, my head. That is the area that would contract under electrical stimulus. It is where it should be. I just couldn't help but clap my hands excitedly. Perfect, Rakesh. Just remember that drawing when you take your test and you'll do great. Rakesh looks from the drawing to me and back. He seems almost shocked before breaking out into a wide grin. I think it'll be just fine. And 100%. Ah, uh ha, ha, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Professor Task's final is grueling. I swear he's never even hinted at half these concepts before. Like, I'm barely prepared for this test, but I've got to do my best. Uh, there's nothing else for it. I'm just going to have to finish this test out, and we'll find out what happens. I finally turn in my test and shake my head at the professor. I make my way out of class as quickly as possible. The other students groans in frustration for all the motivation I need. Several hours, wow, several hours later, I'm just sitting in the living room of Latin House watching TV with the others when Max bursts in the door. <laughs> Everyone, you won't believe it. We're going to the beach for spring break. Private beach house. Wait, what? Seriously, the dean of the school called Professor Task's room. Apparently, Professor Task's stupid prisoner dilemma was dangerously close to the line. So, to make up for it, the school's letting us use Professor Task's beach house. We have to pay our own way there and, well, food and stuff, but, eh, the beach house is on a private lot and it's all ours. Well, this is incredible. <laughs> well, damn. 
I guess that old snake's tricks had to catch up him eventually. <laughs> it's incredible. Eh, everyone get packed. So we'll do that next time because if I remember right, Spring Break's a long, long event. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And well, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.